Hello, welcome to episode 20 or episode 19, I don't know, of Harmony Hollow. Since recording my last episode, Scott uploaded his video responding to my toilet prank, in which he played it out like he didn't care if anything I'd done him a favour because he was planning on creating a new vampire hunter base somewhere else, and he's already got a copy of all of the stuff that I stole, so he doesn't care that I've stolen it, even though he then asked for all of it back in this book, so I mean, he, he kind of does care. But anyway, in his video, he began work on his new vampire hunter base, and he turned off the minimap so that I could not see the quads so that I don't know where he is. But what he did not turn off are all of his waypoints, like uh, these things over here. Which means that we can work out exactly where his base is by just checking out how far away he is from everyone's house and then flying over to that spot. Now his video was uploaded about 12 hours ago when I'm recording this video and since that time about a thousand of you have posted in his comment section, my comment section, both of our Twitters that you can work out where the base is. So I'm assuming that Scott's probably been on at some point while I was asleep because I'm recording this in the morning and maybe taking his stuff out of the dungeon because he's got to expect that I'm gonna go looking for it and go to steal his stuff but it's certainly worth checking out anyway just to mug him off we could place a toilet in there or something just to let him know that we've popped by you know what I mean so what one person has done and then sent me on Twitter this is um Glory Reese she actually <laughs> she actually wrote down everybody's cords from his base so shout out to you so if we take a look at the map my house is down here Lawrence's house is up here and judging by his video I'm assuming that the secret vampire dungeon is somewhere around this area right here. I just love how cocky Scott is. He won't accept that he's been like diddle just the tiniest little bit. He's always like, ha ha, I win, get wrecked, Jack. <laughs> Scott, you messed up there. I bet he thought he was being so smart, but he, he certainly was not. Right, so I am now exactly the same distance from my house as Scott was in his video. And then Lauren's house is over there, 336 meters away. Whereas on Twitter, Lauren's house is 464 meters away. We need to go slightly over this kind of way. Okay. I've got too many waypoints. I can't see. Let me get rid of some of them. All right. My canal boat is 789 meters from me. And in Scott's video, my canal boat was 844 meters from me. So let's just go over this way. What's that like? So I am now the same distance from my canal boat as Scott was in his video. And then also in his video, he was 464 meters from Lauren's house. And currently we are 459. Which leads me to think that Scott's secret vampire dungeon is somewhere around this area. Of course, I did not bring a shovel. <laughs> but I do have a pickaxe, so that shouldn't hold us back too much. So we'll just dig down and hopefully it's around here somewhere. Okay, we're in a ravine, but we'll just keep mining straight down. From the looks of his waypoints, uh, it seemed like everything was kind of like the same height as him. I don't think it'll be all the way down at bedrock, but I guess it's, it's worth checking anyway. We've hit bedrock, so if we press J... Can we see anything? No, we cannot. Right, I cannot seem to find it anywhere. Now, obviously, Scott's got his waypoint set in slightly different areas than I have. Lauren's house. So, Lauren's house is 462 meters from me right now. And in this video, she's 464 meters. So, it's definitely around here somewhere. He can't have his waypoint set, like, that far out the way. You know what I mean? How far is he from my canal boat? 828 compared to 844. Oh, my goodness. It's got to be around here somewhere. Then, CPK's house is 893 blocks from me at the minute. Oh, that's interesting. On Scott's video, he's 600 blocks away. How can we be that far different, but everything else is the same? That's that's weird, that. Oh, look what I found, though. Even if I don't find Scott's base, then at least it's made worthwhile for the diamond. Look at that. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> I've, I've not been able to find it, so we're gonna have to be slightly smarter about it. What I did do is I went back to his video, and I saw exactly where he has the waypoint set at. I'm going the wrong way. I saw exactly where he's got the waypoint set at my house, so at least we can use that as a reference point. So his waypoint is set basically right here, so we're gonna set a waypoint as well. Jack, look here. We'll make it a nice yellow colour, shall we? Yeah, we shall. And now we just need to get 844 blocks away from that. Wait, wait, wait. Right, 844. And then Lauren is 400 61. Currently, she is 455. I guess we'll just start mining down here under the water. Fortunately, I am a vampire, so I do not drown, so I have all the time in the world here. Now, down we go. What do you guys think? Are you feeling confident about this one? I'm feeling good. We, we, come on, we can't give up on this. We've got to be able to find it. It must be somewhere around here. It's literally got to be 
so close, but I just I just don't know. Come on, Vampire Hunter Dungeon. If only I could just turn my x-ray on. <laughs> Yo, we've hit bedrock again. Where is it? I keep looking at the little mini-map for any kind of clues, but I'm, I'm not seeing any. Right, hang on, hang on. When we are this height, you can see some kind of weird little structure that's probably worth investigating. Apparently, it is over this direction. It might be a mine shaft or something. It's definitely some kind of weird little tunnel. So I'm either on top of it or I'm below... Oh, it was just a mine shaft. Damn it. <laughs> 844 which is what we need to be and then we're like 10 blocks out so I'm just gonna head over this direction now instead He might have come on since the video uploaded last night and like completely filled it in and got rid of every single block But I don't think Scott would go that far. Although maybe he would <laughs> Scott, where is your base? It must be so close <laughs> So if I go over here, what happens? It goes to it goes to 845 so it, it that means it must be here, right? I don't know. I'm, I, I feel like I'm not making sense there and then if I go here, it's still 844. What if I go here? It's still 844. So if I just keep on this and we head towards Lauren's house, then we might just hopefully stumble upon it. I don't know. Wait. <gasps> oh my god. We must be really close because look, I've just been hit with a garlic diffuser. He's got a garlic diffuser somewhere in the base. We must be really close to it. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> How far away are we? Right, we are 832. Um, oh my goodness, is it below us or above us? Alright, I've hit bedrock this way, so it mustn't be that way. So that means it must be upwards instead. Thank you so much, Scott, for placing this handy little garlic diffuser down. Just to make sure that I stay on the right track with finding your base. That is so nice of you. <laughs> oh my goodness, there are a lot of bats in here. Hello, friends. What's what's go- Ow! What's going on here? Why is he- He's a blood-sucking bat. Get off! <laughs> Stop it, get off, man! What are you doing? Leave me alone! <laughs> I'm one of you! There's no need! God! Don't you come anywhere, I'll see you looking at me! Wait! What's this? What's this? Is this- is this anything special? Just pass on- Okay, okay! No thank you there, Lava! No thank you! Wait, 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 wait! What's this? What's this? Is this- what, did I do this? Yeah, I feel like I did. <laughs> Got to be around here somewhere! Oh my- <gasps> What is it? What is it? What is it? Stop! Water! Stop it! <laughs> Let me... Bat time! Bat time! Bat time! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Let me in! We found it! <laughs> We're in! We're literally in! Oh! <laughs> Get diddled, Scott! Now, like I said at the beginning, I'm assuming Scott's probably taken any valuable resources out of this base already because he's probably seen the comments and that kind of thing. But at least we found it anyway. Sorry about breaking your garlic farm there, Scott. I'm really sorry about that. Right, let's take a look. <gasps> ah, it's all still there. Right, right, right. Just in case, we need to grab all of it. So he made fun of me. He was like, Jack, I've already, I've already crafted copies of all of the stuff you've stolen, so I literally don't care that you've stolen any more stuff. Well, I have just taken the copies of the stuff, Scott, so uh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> I can't believe he's not been on yet and, like, moved the stuff. Stuff. That is such a nightmare for him. <laughs> right, let's just have a look around this place. What else have we got? Okay, let's just get a full explorer of the joint. I like these stairs. These are very nice. Um, come through here. Oh, no, go on. Just let me squeeze through here. And this one as well. Oh, we've got some more stairs. All right. So where did I set that original waypoint? 20 meters away. I got to 20 meters away off the bat. Right, is this the entrance? How do I get it? Oh! It's at surface level. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at where we placed our waypoint right over the hill. Now, by the way, guys, I do think it's definitely worth saying. There's some quite angry comments in Scott's comment section every now and then. But I just want to say at the end of the day, it is just a bit of fun. As much as I enjoy annoying Scott in as many ways as possible, there's no need for any angry and aggressive comments. You know what I mean? Feel free to go over to his comment section and let him know what I'm planning or let him know that I've found the base and all that kind of stuff. But just make sure to be nice about it. You know what I mean? Scott's secret. Secret lair. How do you spell lair? Is that right? Sure. Why not? <laughs> well, I want to say thank you to all of you in the comments down below or and on Twitter that gave me the information that helps me find this base. Scott, there is no way that you can't say you've been diddled this time. So I just wanted to say a big thank you for the bathroom installment. I was actually just planning on relocating. The new vampire base is going to look so good with all this deco. Okay, Scott, if you say so. <laughs> I can't risk him finding any of the stuff that I've stolen. So let's keep it in this shulker box. 
box and we'll make sure to keep this shulker box on us at all times so there is no way you can get it. And now all we need to do is get ourselves over to our deck or craft bench because it's time to make a few more you rhinos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we don't have much deck or craft stuff left so we're gonna have to be kind of frugal about it. Let's just get seven you rhinos this time but one box of tissues is probably gonna be sufficient. I like your couch by the way Scott. Don't mind if I do. Thanks very much. Actually no I don't, I don't want to take too much of his stuff. Let's just put the we'll put the couch back. Sorry I'm getting carried away. I, I need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> what we'll do is we shall once- Oh Scott! <laughs> Thank you very much Scott. No problem. Let me just grab my, my, my shulker box and I'll, I'll put that with the other garlic diffuser that you've given me. They're quite expensive to make those aren't they Scott? Let's just take a look. Three diamonds it takes to make them. So that's six diamonds you've wasted on those. No problem at all. <laughs> Oh no! My pickaxe is broken! My beautiful diamond pickaxe! God dang it! Well, it's disappointing, but we can probably get everything we need to done as long as I don't misclick anywhere. Oh! <laughs> Drats! <laughs> oh, it's you, Rhino time! <laughs> I'm gonna need a new pickaxe, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Using a toilet to chop down a tree. Fortunately for me, while looking for Scott's base, I actually managed to find three diamonds, so I could just go ahead and make another diamond pickaxe. Not a problem. There we are. Don't have much money marble left so I'll just make this room considerably smaller I think there we are now let me get my toilet placed down and the bog roll of course there we go <laughs> can't forget somewhere to dry your hands there you go Scott not a problem get a few of these just placed up here because they really do look the part and then just so it's a bit of a surprise to him we'll shut this off as well I think and of course let's just whack Scott's items into here so that if Scott decides that he wants to stop all of this vampire hunter nonsense and just accept that I've beaten him on this one then I would be more than happy to return all this stuff like I gave him the opportunity to in the last episode and we can put all of this vampire hunter nonsense behind us and I promise if Scott just ends things here puts the altar back how it was or just tells me where the stuff is I'll sort it out then I will leave him to it and I will stop pranking him and I'll move on to pranking somebody else <laughs> but there we go as the youngsters are saying these days I definitely took the W there and Scott took the L. <laughs> I feel like I do not get away with using this kind of dialect. <laughs> Last thing that we're going to do before we end off is actually while I've got these 21 levels I'm going to do a tiny bit of enchanting and I'm actually just going to rip these bookshelves down and I'm just going to enchant the books because I went to Phoenix's, uh, yeah, Phoenix's house is 1000 blocks over that direction. She has a fully functional enchanting table and seeing as I'm the vampire overlord around here she's not going to complain if I start using hers instead. So while I've got these levels I basically just want to see if I can get anything. Yeah, so if I can get sharpness one there then I could put that on my current sharpness one and I could get sharpness two. That's how it works, right? Isn't it? Isn't it? I think that's how it works. Vampire Slayer one. I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> I'll take another sharpness one though. Sharpness three would uh, would be very nice. Protection one. Yep, sounds good. That'll probably do us for now. Let me go to the anvil and see if I can actually like put some stuff on these. Oh, two levels for sharpness two. How many for sharpness three? Three levels. <laughs> Oh, well, that was a waste. <laughs> Turns out it doesn't work like that, apparently. I I've, I've still got sharpness too. All right, no problem. Let's repair our gear because we don't want any of this stuff to break. Put you in there. Same with you. Excellent. And then can I put protection one on my helmet? Yes, I can. Excellent. Nice. Brilliant. <laughs> that was actually pretty straightforward and quite an efficient way of getting some, some fairly OP gear. I'll probably do some more of that before the next episode. But anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Harmony Hollow. We wrecked Scott today. Scott, I want to put this war behind us as well. Thank you very much though for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, then please do click that like button down below. You'll notice I am wearing my Sky Kid Summer 2017 t-shirt that we took off sale because it is no longer summer. However, we do have quite a few Australian and New Zealand fans watching. And for those guys, it is actually summer. So I'm kind of considering... Maybe we could put it back on sale with some kind of Australasian twist in some way. I could tweak the design so it's slightly more Aussie and Kiwi based. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I shall see you all next time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I need to wave. I'm, I'm terribly rude of me. Bye! <laughs>